Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation. In this video, we will see how we can install AWS CLI. So let's start from here. We just open command prompt and then type here AWS hyphen hyphen version. Just we wanted to check whether AWS CLI is installed or not. So right now you can see we are getting AWS is not recognized. So we need to install AWS CLI. And for that, I'll open browser and here I, here I will type AWS CLI download and we'll go to the first link. From here, let's click on window version. So if you want to install in Linux, you can also do the same. Just follow the process that if already installed, then you can remove it. Else just just uh, run this command. Curl command and then sudo install. It will be installed. Same thing you can do for Mac operating system as well. Let me just open window version and here we need to we have two options either I can download and or I can directly run this command in PowerShell then it will install so I'll just click on MSI version 2 MSI is downloaded now I'll just click open file and it will start installation process I'll just select it click next next install now we need to click finish and then again I will open new command prompt let's just write here CMD and then try AWS hyphen hyphen version so now you can see AWS CLI is installed in my window system so next thing that we need to configure and before going to configure AWS CLI we need to create a we need to create a user for our AWS account so for that I'll just go to and write here AWS console login and from here I'll open first link let's click on login and I'm hoping that you have already created your account so initially I'll open with I'll log in with root user and click next now I'll search here IAM for creating new user and then click on IAM link from here and after that we can just click on users and then I'll create new user here you can write name so I'll say admin user and then we can click on provide user access to console and then I will select I want to create a create an IAM user and then uh, let it be if you want custom password you can give or just select whatever it is click next and here if you have already created user group you can do you can even copy permission or just just attach policy so I'll just click and attach policy directly and from here I will have to select admin access so I'll just select administrator access tick here then I will click next and here I can just say create user so now by doing this it will create new user which is admin user and this is the password to log in it so I'll just select from here go to account here I can write this is my username and then the password that I get from here let me log in it and then I'll click sign in as soon as I'll click on sign in it will ask to change the password so I will write here old password and then we'll say new password then confirm change so I have logged in to my new account and by default it's saying 
know some so I'll, I'll select here a region which is us east one then i need to get the access key for my user so for that i just click on this icon admin user and then we'll go to security credential so now in this security credential we need to create access key so you can see here we have access key i just need to create access key and it's saying that so what i wanted to use so here i'll say command line interface cli so i can just select it and then we'll click next and then tag right so it's saying describe the purpose so i'll just say uh, cli access click create access key so here i have this is my access key and then security key now what i have to do i get my access key and security key even i can download that for the future reference but now after getting access key and security key we need to go to cli i mean cmd and here we have to type aws configure so we have two ways to do that first way is we can just write aws configure and click enter now it will ask you to enter access key so i'll just paste here access key and then it will ask to enter secret key so secret key i'll just copy from here now after that i'll just go and paste here enter now it's saying default region so fault region is basically where you want to uh, that should be your default so you can write us east one or whatever is the nearest to to you so i'll say here us east one click enter default format so default format is basically json you should write and then click enter now aws is configured i'll just say cls now after that i will write here aws s3 ls click enter so we can see that we have one bucket s3 which is listing here even if i want aws ec2 describe instances describe instances it should list my ec2 instances here so it's saying zero i have not added any ec2 instance so this is how we can you know configure our aws cli this is our first method the second method is what we can do we can uh, open our directory and we'll go to c drive then we have users then we can go to user account and here you have to so since we have done aws configure that's why dot aws folder is here what you can do if you don't want to do aws configure or somehow you are getting error then you just need to create dot aws folder and inside this dot aws folder you have to create one file which is credential file in this credential file just create credential file without any extension and if you go and edit this so right now and then you have to write default and then aws access key id and then aws access secret key id these two things you have to add here and then just save this file after saving is you will be able to run it just write here aws s3 and ls you will see that all the aws s3 ls and then you will see list of bucket which is available there that means aws is configured in your local system thank you so much for watching the video in next video we will see configurations we will see s3 using cli thank you so much for watching the video